Selecting a coffee maker for your office is not such a simple task. Hopefully, I'll be able to demystify that task for you in this video today. There are essentially three types of coffee systems available for an office. Number one, and the most popular formerly of all coffee makers for an office, are drip coffee maker. Everyone at some stage of their coffee life has seen a drip coffee maker. And they are still quite a good option for some offices. They have pretty much two pros above any other machine. Number one, you can get coffee out of a drip maker quicker than any other machine. Because they brew a whole pot beforehand, you essentially have coffee on tap, which if you have a busy environment, makes it sometimes the best choice for you. Second pro of a filter, uh, a filter or drip coffee maker is, is really cost. There's still not an option around today that can rival the economy of the coffee itself that goes into a drip maker as well as the drip maker itself. So if you're on a budget, a drip maker possibly still is the best best for you. The two cons or the two downsides of a drip maker is number one, same as it's an advantage to brew a pot, it can be a disadvantage. So if you want a single serve coffee or just want one coffee now and you maybe have a coffee later on, it's not a great option because you have to brew the whole pot in a drip maker. And therefore you have a whole pot of coffee standing, which unfortunately you probably have to check out later. The second downside of a drip maker is if you want variety for all the different people in your office, you unfortunately can't get that out of that machine because it brews one pot at one strength using one coffee variety and therefore everyone has to drink the same type of coffee. If that's a problem, then a drip maker probably isn't going to work for you. Your second type of coffee system for an office is now probably the most popular, which is a capsule coffee machine or a single serve capsule maker. And they pretty much improve on the two major problems that drip makers had. Number one being that you have to produce a whole pot of coffee in a drip maker. And number two, in a drip maker, you only have one coffee varietal, so people can only have one type of coffee at a time. In a capsule maker, you can choose between your different types of coffees, between cups, so person A can have a strong coffee, person B can have a totally different type of coffee afterwards, and also person A can have a coffee at nine o'clock, and person B can have a coffee at 12, not worrying about a whole pot of coffee brewed. The downside of, of capsule makers is that they are incredibly expensive. Not the makers themselves, but the actual capsules used within. So pretty much no matter which brand, whether it's Nespresso again, K-Cups, Tassimo, they all have expensive consumables that you need to use in them. Your third type of option when it comes to coffee systems is what they call an espresso bean to cup coffee machine. And that's kind of a combination of the first strip maker and the second capsule machine combined. So what it is, it's a coffee machine which is a single serve maker like your capsule system and it brews, as, is, as the name suggests, one cup at a time, but it uses coffee beans and it grinds the beans on demand. So when you press your, your, your button, the machine will pretty much do everything, but instead of taking your coffee from a capsule, it actually takes it from a coffee bean itself and grinds it into your cup. Now, the pros of that are that you can really get the freshest cup of coffee around, and number two, you're not locked into a capsule type system where you have to spend a fortune for a specific brand of type of coffee. It unfortunately, like other coffee systems, also has a disadvantage, and that is advantage that bean to cup coffee makers are far more expensive than capsule systems and drip makers. So if you don't have the budget, it's still unfortunately probably not a good option for you. I hope that helps you. I hope that makes your decision that much clearer, and good luck choosing your coffee maker.